This photo at S17 1 is very strange, because on it we can only see the command module and not the service module which is behind the command module, though the command module is seen in strong bias. Yet if we compare with a photo of Apollo 14 for S14669356, 14, left of the double view, cropped part of the photo, we can clearly see the service module behind the command module. And the command module of Apollo 17 is more unbiased than the command module of Apollo 14 for if we make the ratio between the smallest radius of the cone and the greatest radius. We find a smaller ratio on the command module of Apollo 17. An Apollo believer has made a schema to try to prove that it is normal that we can't see the service module on the photo of Apollo 17 for, according to him, the service module would be hidden by the command module in the cone of vision of the photo. The problem with his demonstration is that he is starting from a wrong conception, the conception that all the points of the visual space are projected on the photo along straight lines like light rays. It is simply not true. To prove it is not true, several photographic examples have been shown. On one of them three boxes have been put at equal distance from each other on the ground, and a photo of these three boxes has been taken. Though the middle box is at the same distance from the two other boxes, it appears closer to the farthest box than to the closest box. And no there is not yet, the middle box is really at the same distance from the two other ones. On another example a chair has been put at a given distance from the place that the photo is taken, and a second chair at the double of this distance. If the visual space was linear, the second chair should be twice smaller than the first chair, and you can see that it is not the second chair is of course smaller than the first one, but bigger than twice smaller. If the visual space really was linear, like the Apollo believer thinks it is, then we would have seen this photo which has been modified to represent the second chair twice smaller than the first chair. And, to definitively prove that his schema does not stand we can make two observations. 1. The ratio of the width of the base of the hook ray line. 2. The distance between the sides of the cone of view of the module green line should be equal on his schema and on the photo, but they are not. On his schema this ratio is equal to 0.32, and on the photo this ratio is equal to 0.44. That makes too much difference to be excused by the imprecision of measures. 2. The ratio of the distances of the end of the hook to the sides of the cone of view of the command module yellow and blue lines should also be the same on his schema and on the photo. But this ratio is equal to 2.4 on his schema and 5.3 on the photo, so extremely different, way too much to be excused by the imprecision of measures. All of this has already been pointed out in a previous video, so this video is to show new facts. The photos are S17 1452 has sisters, the S17 1452 to S17 which shows command module almost the same way, almost, but not quite. For there are differences which discredit these photos as having been taken near the moon. On the photo at S17 1452 left of the double view, we can see a shadow on the left, circled in red, that we can't see on the photo at S17 1452 right of the double view. It could come from the fact that the camera has been a little turned on the right on a S17 1452 but, in that case, the vertical bar which has been circled in green would have been pushed on the left on the photo a S17 and, it has been pushed on the right instead. Let's get interested in the lunar hole which has been circled on the photos a S17 left an AS-17-145-22-273, right?
This hull should be shaded exactly the same way on the two photos. The two spaceships are too far from this hull to change the way it is shaded and yet the shadow appears lighter on. The photo are S17 145 than on the photo are S17 145 On the photos are S17 145 left. And a S17 145 right? The vertical bar which has been circled does not appear the same yet. It is no reason to be different on the two photos. On the photo a S17 145 left. And a S17 145 right? Let's get interested in the branch of the hook which has been circled in red. On the photo of S17 145 left this branch appears clear and on the photo of S17 145 right, it appears shaded instead. Why? The lunar module is positioned the same relatively to the command module on the two photos. What could have changed so that this branch would suddenly appear shaded? On the photos are S17 145 left, and are S17 145 right? The vertical bar which has been circled in the right appears different on the photo are S17 145 It appears darker than on the photo are S17 145 but not completely shaded though. On the photos are S17 145 left, and are S17 145 right? Let's get interested in the part of the command module which has been circled in red. On the photo of S17 145 left we can see a window which appears visible though being in the shadow, and, on the photo of S17 145 right, we can't see at all this window. What would have made this window disappear on the photo of S17 145 but we can be sure that the Apollo believers will be able to find bullshit explanations for all these differences. Oops I was about to say anomalies.